Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi there. How are you doing? Rafael, good evening. Hi, thank you. Hello, great to see you there. Give me just a sec. Um, Carissa, hi, good evening. How are you? How's everything going, guys? Hi, good evening, teacher. I find things in you. I guess I'm good. <laughs> so everything is fine so far. I think I'm doing great. And uh, well, I always think that Wednesdays are the belly bottom of the week. So that is something good because we are only missing two days, you know, and, and week is over. So I guess it's good. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, thank you for joining. I hope the rest of the guys. Oh, yeah, they're coming here. So, Claudia, good evening. Um, I see Crisia too. And uh, I think I saw Rafael. Yes, there you go. So, thank you guys. How was your day? Did you have a nice Wednesday? Did you have a good day? Yes, I had a good day. You had a it, good one. It, it was very busy, but it was good. Oh, okay. Nice. That's really good to hear. So, and busy days are nice, I guess. I, ha I have always thought so. Well, guys, um, welcome to um, session number uh, 13. Give me one second here. Hold on. Sorry, uh, uh, this is session number 11, right? I'm just like moving ahead a lot. So we are going to be having actually a little review of tenses. Um, you have a little homework from yesterday. Um, so I gave you like three questions for you to think a little bit about them because we are going to be like contrasting tenses, putting them in practice. Uh, we are going to, you know, try to participate as much as possible. And we are going to just uh, review super quick some grammatical structures. So uh, bear with me for one hour, all right? So we can start working on this. Uh, Monica, good evening. Uh, Mary, hello, Jasmine, thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining, you know, and, and sharing your time with us, all right? Um, yesterday we were practicing or checking a little bit some of the most common expressions that we use, uh, for example, in simple past, like ago, last, right? Uh, the day before, the year before, things like those. For present uh, simple, for example, we normally use some expressions like uh, currently, nowadays, now, because we are talking about present times. For future, we use expressions like uh, next year, next month, uh, in the future, soon, etc. So we are going to practice this actually before we get started uh, with the practice that we have. So let's take a look at some of the exercises we have right here for you. Um, for example, here we have a little bit of contrast between the three um, different tenses. I have a I have the words, like the keywords in bold letters, so you can have an idea what we be using here, um, like every day, at the moment, last Sunday, tomorrow. But if you check here, probably we are going to be using present continuous, maybe simple present, maybe simple past, maybe will, maybe be going to. Oh my God, we are going to combine everything. So let's see how well we do it, all right? Let's see if we still remember part of these topics, okay? And uh, let's take a look at them. For example, guys, number one, the keyword in number one is every day. So can you help me? Can anybody help me with sentence number one? Can you try to complete it? How would you complete it? How would you complete a question or sentence number one in this case? I think that the first one is related with the present form. Oh, okay, okay. So that would be present. So what would be the sentence? 
Uh, I do many things every day. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> really easy, exactly. So it's just <laughs> present. I do many things every day. You got it. Exactly. That is correct. What about the second, guys? Um, it says she, and then we have at the moment. If you remember, the expression at is a little specific. You know, it's present, but more than present, it's like present continuous, right? Or something like that. So can you help me with that one? She's cooking at the moment. She's cooking. Oh, she is cooking at the moment. Okay, very nice. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right. What about number three? What about the third one? They have they a have. lot of funding. They have? They had a party last Sunday. Oh, they had a party. Okay. So they had a party last Sunday. All right. Makes sense. What about the others we got right here? Number four, for example, it says tomorrow. What do you think? What can, can we use in number four? Okay. We will, we will do it tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, okay. What is the other possibility? So we will do it tomorrow or? Going we to. Are going. We're going to do. Oh, yeah. we are going to do. Okay. But either way, both are okay. Both are fine. Okay. What about number five? Two weeks ago. She, she wrote. She wrote. Exercise two weeks ago. Oh, very nice. Okay. So she wrote this exercise. Okay, there we go. Number six. What about number six? What can we use there? Usually buy mother clothes. We have the word usually. And usually, usually for... buys mother clothes. Oh, very nice. Third person, exactly. So he usually <laughs> buys. Okay, very buys. good. Very nice, guys. Number seven. Who wants to give it a try? Number seven. The children. <clears throat> the children. Look, plays somewhere. Right. Look, the children are playing snowballs. Oh, okay. I think this is a little tricky. Right, so this is quite tricky because we have just look, we have like no more information, but yeah, you're right about it. So it says, look, oh. like right now, like in this very moment, hey, look, check, right? Mm -hmm. The children mm -hmm. are playing a snowball. Okay, playing. very nice. They are playing exactly with ing. All right. Oh, uh, what about number eight? How can you complete number eight, guys? They. Yes. They what? Wrote a quick test yesterday. Very good. They wrote a quick test yesterday. Nice, nice. Number nine. Who's got number nine? They sometimes something sometimes breaking the they toys. What do you think would be break or breaking? Breaking. Break. Break. <laughs> Breaking, teacher. They sometimes break their toys. Break. Well, here there are a couple of possibilities. Uh, I think I heard somebody said broke. It makes sense. Some They sometimes broke their toys. I would say, yeah, this is okay. It really depends on the context. But I think I heard Enrique's voice. Yeah, that would be break. Why not breaking? They sometimes they break sometimes. it. Okay, that's, that's a possibility. So because we are using the word sometimes, that is simple present. And always remember, we cannot say um, ing only or lonely, all right? Like I cooking, I working, that is not possible. So we say, I am working, I am cooking. So I am, right? With verb to be. Uh, and the last one, guys, the boy. What about this one, number 10? The boy? The boy got only oh, good God, marks only last, good year. Mark last year. Amazing. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, really nice. 
I think you got the grammar part. I think you definitely get this. Now, guys, let's go ahead and let's practice. Part of the questions I asked you yesterday uh, to practice were related to this, all right? And the correct use of present, past, and future. So I asked you yesterday to select the question or select the topic, let's say, that you consider is the most difficult for you. Um, I know that simple pass is difficult most of the times. So this one, question one is about past. What was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Um, the second refers to the future. So maybe we are going to use, I will, I am going to. So what are your future goals? And the last one, do you have any bad habit? Don't think about something really bad, guys. A bad habit is not only drinking and smoking or something really bad, not necessarily, but a bad habit can be, for example, that you go to bed really late, right? Or you spend too much time in social networks or, um, I don't know, that you don't like talking to people, you don't like going out, or you don't like exercising, for example, or not eating healthy. So when we are talking about bad habits, not necessarily something extremely bad. We are not talking about biases, but it's just something bad or something that you consider is quite bad. So um, we are going to share these, okay? We are going to share your ideas, your experiences, and I want you to start talking, guys. So I'm going to be like visiting you because I want to make sure that we are using a simple past, future, you know, and present tenses correctly. Um, I'm going to uh, ask you guys to join the groups, all right? So you can listen to your classmates, share your opinion, share your ideas. Please listen carefully to them because later you are going to tell us about your classmates. You are going to tell us what they told you before so pay a lot of attention there. Um, how are we going to do this? Um, we are going to use the following expression. Um, at the moment, we are not going to focus too much in reporting a speech, but we are going to work right on these verbs that are important say and tell all right for example maria tells me uh, i don't know my uh, plan for the future is to finish my career so i'm going to tell you okay what maria said okay maria or mary right so mary said to me mary said to us Mary said to everybody, and I want you to pay attention to the use of tell. The other one we have is uh, tell, the past is told, right? So Mary told me, Mary told us. Look at the difference. Mary said to us, Mary told us. I'm going to change this so you can see this a little better. Mary told me and Mary said to me. What do you see as the difference? I'm trying to explain what the other person told me, but the difference is with say, you don't need. Mary said me, uh, that is not correct. Mary just, Mary said. Mary said she wants to study. Mary said she wants to get married, etc. And the other one is, Tell. Normally, when we are using the verb tell or toy, it is necessary to say this one. Mary told me, Mary told Rafael, Mary told Claudia. So tell, we need to use a to whom. Guys, I don't know if I'm confusing you. Are we good? Are we fine? The explanations are clear, teacher. Clear? Okay, amazing. Yeah. Amazing, because normally we'd say we forget and we include said me, but that is not necessarily good. This is not okay. We are going to um, pay a lot of attention to our classmates, right? And try to explain this. So I'm inviting you guys uh, to the groups, okay? Discuss only the questions, right? So share your ideas, 
Um, remember, these are the three equations, the same we ended up uh, with yesterday. What was the last really difficult thing? What are your future goals? And what are your bad habits? Guys, we have five, 10 minutes. Let's go, 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 go. Okay. The first one, what was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Enrique? Yes. Um, my last really difficult is to, to wake up there to, to go to the job. Okay, Irving. Well, the last difficult thing that I did, it was a project from the university, the final project. Um, we'd spend many time uh, doing that with our classmates. Uh, it was difficult because of the pandemic, but at the end, at the end of the day, we made, we got 9.3 in the final test. So that was the most difficult thing that I did. Grisia. Okay. It's, um, it's kind of hard for me to tell this, but the first thing that come to my mind when I talking about difficult things is when I... <sighs> When I had to assist a girl that she suicide, I, I don't know what is the pronunciation, suicide. Yeah, yeah that would be suicide. Suicide, okay. And I-, I Are you a psychologist? Remember. No, he, she was my neighbor. Oh, mm -hmm. and I still remember that I was very nervous and scared in that moment. She hanged. Oh, wow. And I'm sorry to hear about that. Was um, a couple of months uh, specifically um December 5. That was super recent. Yes. Oh, okay. She, she was um 15 years old. Oh, wow. That was or that sounds like a really hard time, you know. And yeah. uh I mean, I know that a lot of people because of the pandemic um, have a lot of psychological, um, I don't know, like it has affected a lot in our mental health, you know, um, the fact that we are isolated, we are at home. So, wow, thank you so much for sharing that because I know that is hard. I know that is um, just to listen to that, you know, so that sounds pretty hard, wow. So that definitely sounds quite difficult. Uh, Crisia, but are you like um, a health worker? Because you mentioned the word assist. No, <laughs> uh, I called um, uh, Cruz Roja. Uh, oh, okay. And 
my, uh, bueno, era mi amigo. He was my friend. Oh, and, that person was your friend. Okay. Yes, yes. And he told me, what, what should I do? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, but, but I, I, I definitely I, get it. Wow. Thank you yes. for sharing that. That sounds pretty tough. Yes, I, I still remember that everything. <laughs> I imagine, but it's like, wow, super, super difficult. Every night. <laughs> I, yeah. I can't sleep uh, all December. <laughs> and it is recent, I guess. It is still recent. But if you need some help, you know, I think it's a good idea to uh, maybe look for a psychologist because it's also like the... I don't know. We get a trauma, I guess. We definitely get it, you know. So I think it's also important to talk to um to a professional so you could, you know, feel a little better, right? Yeah. Wow. But I, I feel better now. You feel better. All right. I'm happy yes. to hear that. <laughs> wow, pretty tough though. So what about the rest of you guys? <laughs> Just me. Okay. When I was a child, I have to. I had to uh, move from one city to another one, and I had to start again, like a new school. I had new friends, new house, new. I don't know. It was so hard for me. I just was a child. Josué. Hi, it's um, one of the most difficult things was having COVID last week. Oh, um, seriously? I know beginning about to work. During COVID time, uh, you need to uh, take a big decision about the, um, como estar en cuarentena, algo así. And you can, <laughs> and you can. On the yeah. pandemic. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah, the wow. quarantine when I give birth was in May. So the quarantine was obligation, but but for me, the, the difficult decision was be with my husband or be with another people, you know, because my husband, her, the, his family, sorry, live far away of, the, of my family. And with, I was thinking be with him, with, with another people or with, with my family. So I decide to be with another people beside to my family or him family because I need the help of the pe these people. I know who, if you got it, my, what I tried to say. <laughs> I got it. I got yeah, it. That is too. It's a long ask, ask <laughs> okay. And I'm not sure if uh, we, <laughs> We will can to explain that. <laughs> okay. In, in my case, I choose the second one. What are your future goals? And about that, uh, in my future goals, trusting in God, of course, uh, is to going to be able uh, to study my master degree. Um, I have selected the technological subject and I'm, I'm trying to apply for a scholarship, but if I not chosen in the process, um, I will study a master degree at the National University, Universidad Nacional, here in El Salvador. Um, that opportunity is uh, 
uh, are around two years uh, for study. But I know that is difficult way, but I think that I can do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, it's, it's missing someone. Missing is no. Everybody say say something. <laughs> uh, first one, Cory, and after that, uh, Silvia, Veronica, and Monica. Um, about the the third question, the bad habit. Uh, but but have it said something about uh, about that question? Let me let me see. I said ah, about Cody. Cody. Yes. Cody said that I uh, love to read a book uh, a book uh, into the bus, and for uh, she considered that is so bad for her eyes. Ah, uh, healthy. Yeah. I don't think that is a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that in in, in here in El Salvador, it because it is can distract for, the <laughs> for you distract to to you. I don't know. I I know. I love that the uh, um, movement. I don't know how to say que, that el bus vaya caminando y yo leyendo. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. When the bus Maybe. is in motion. Yeah. In motion. But yeah. for, well, if I could say something, but I, it's bad for the your the retina. Do. I don't know how to say retina in English. Latina. Your iris? Your iris? I mean, you're talking about your eye, right? Yes. Retina. Your ah. iris. Mm, it's bad for for the iris actually it's bad for your eyesight in general i guess but i think that it's for me it's good because you are you know improved your the time that you have and you are take the time to read the, your books so for me it's not a bad habit but it's bad for you healthy that is i think that is the I would have it. Uh -huh. For me, yeah. I, my bad habit, I could say that I it's very difficult to me no wake up early. That is something that I've been no. <laughs> no. with uh, my, in many years. It's not only that I recently have, I, oh my God, there is a bad habit that I think I have for many years ago. For me, that is a bad habit. Oh my god! Oh, my baby. Or go to the bed uh, so yes. late. I think it's a bad habit too. I agree. We have a bad <laughs> habit, a particular bad habit. What is your bad habit? I follow a lot, but a lot, a lot of uh, store page. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you checking marketplace, but you never buy. <laughs> no, no, uh, a page on Instagram. Uh, I, I, yeah. I live in San Lorenzo in Aguachapan, but I know all kind of uh, stores in San Salvador because yeah. I follow a lot of a uh, story, really. But you just follow them. Oh, you normally order. No, I buy, uh, I don't know. I think I follow the stores and I buy. Oh, I okay. think I buy when there, when there are- uh, Offers. Offers, yes. And, um, <laughs> and, yes. and in every time I have a new notification with, with the new uh, stories, with the new publication, with and I think, <laughs> oh, this is so cheap. I have to buy, and if I don't, I say, 
some some day I have to sacar provecho. Take advantage. <laughs> So you take yes. advantage <laughs> uh, uh -huh. about this because I uh, didn't have so, the money. So, so, so if anyone has right. a, a store, uh, can connect with Cloud. Oh. With Sylvia. Sylvia, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, but you got the money, Mo Monica said, and I agree. Because normally in marketplace, I follow the pages, but I never buy anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In marketplace, do you have the option to save the publication? Oh, really? Yeah, and I say a lot of publication is in a moment of my life. I have the money, I could not buy it. But, <laughs> but, I, but the picture I, on Instagram is so... Um, I don't know how to say it. Oh, really? So they are attractive. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think yeah. in marketplace, yeah. it's so, so hard to, to, to see the picture or really? to anyone. Oh, well, you know, the thing is that I prefer Facebook. Um, I don't oh, use really? Instagram just for the pictures, you know, just to, sh because I love photography, so I just share pictures from time to time, so. I didn't know that you could uh, like see pictures or products. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds interesting. Thank you for sharing your bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we, you, I don't know who was, Claudia, I think? No, no, no. Was well, Sylvia, right? Yeah. That has a, I think that you're going to say that you spend time, look the publication, the post, because Another bad habit that I that I have when it's the time to get you know to sleep for me, I spend my my time to watching a lot of videos about food, but in Facebook that are very attractive, like <laughs> like La Capital, La Basilvana videos about how to make different meals. And nice. most of the videos that I that I watching are about Mexican food. So oh. I, I don't know who. I don't know how, but the time it's passed very fast. So, <laughs> so that is really, really what I mean, because I I cook all the day and I be like exhausted to cook the same thing for me. Uh, and I want to, to try another different kind, different meal, you know. So, well, but if you watch them and then you try to. Uh, make the same thing that you see I don't think it's that bad so you're not wasting your time no yeah because it's at night when I be <laughs> when I need to sleep I spend <laughs> time oh, okay. well sounds really interesting guys what about the rest of you you have very interesting bad habits <laughs> I don't think it, they are bad I have more teachers oh what tell us <laughs> Like, like, say, um, Claudia or Veronica. I don't. In my I, case, uh, I have any bad habit. You don't have. Yes, I have. Oh, you have. It's terrible. Well, what is your habit? <laughs> I get out. I get out late when late in the morning when I don't work. Uh, what do you mean? Like what time? In the morning. Only in the morning. Uh, for example, what time? Uh, uh, <laughs> 8, 8, 8 a.m. I know, that's not late. <laughs> for, for me, yes, it's, it's late. <laughs> okay. No, but Cody says you deserve it. And, and I think it, we always do it. For example, Saturday and Sunday when I don't need to work, I wake up like, no, I cannot wake up late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so probably the max is just eight. Uh -huh. a way to, to wake up early. So when That's you need right. to, to relax, you have your dessert, your, your day. It's like difficult to your body because the body knows that you need to sleep uh, in a taxi. I don't know who explained that, but I think that you got Your right body in. gets used to it because it is a routine. Uh -huh. yeah, now, you know, I have a really bad habit, I think. Um, I love doing exercise. But it is difficult for me to lose weight. I don't know why, but I do a lot of exercise. 
I am very careful with my food, but it's hard for me to lose weight. So when I'm losing weight, when I see that my body, my body is changing, I start eating a lot <laughs> mm-hmm. and I de- never lose weight. <laughs> so I think it's bad. But Silvia has more, I think. So Silvia, we, w- we want to listen to yours. Uh, like... I want to have her bad habits and her money to buy whatever that I want. <laughs> No, it's when I going to say like when I receive my um my I don't know my money from my your paycheck. I, yes, your salary. Yeah, the beginning of the month. <laughs> the paycheck. Uh-huh. And I I I used to watch um reels too and from from the from exercise from workout like and, and i i just uh, i don't know how to you say it. i just watch it but i don't do it oh <laughs> yes okay that reminds me of the Ay, this Mexican actress, the one who came to El Salvador for Simán. Ah, yes. <laughs> La de... Regil? Regil? Uh-huh. Barbara. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like, oh, very nice. And the person eating, you know, I saw a lot of memes in Facebook. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you love watching them. Okay. Sounds really cool. Claudia, what about you? Tell us about your habits. Cody, do you have any bad habits? Guys, it is very interesting to talk to you. <laughs> no, I, I was uh, that that read into the bus is a bad habit. But ah, okay. Not. Uh, well, in my case, I think that one of one of my bad habits for me uh, is spending time playing. <laughs> on my cell phone. Ah, Um, Yes, uh, uh, I saw my daughter playing one day and I start to play and I can stop it. (laughs) And I think that is so bad for my eyes. Oh. uh, Because there are uh, two two plays. Uh, One of them is a cooking dash and the other one is a Disney emoji. Disney emoji. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Well, at some point, uh, something like that happened to me. I was playing Farm Bill, Farm Bill, something like oh. that. Farm <laughs> something, and you have to you have to make like a city. Yeah. Well, yes. I don't remember the name. Yeah. But I got, I don't know. I, I have alarms, you know, and I was like waiting for the time for my products to be ready. <laughs> but I was like, no, I'm so obsessed with this. <laughs> but I understand you. <laughs> All right, guys, that was super nice to listen to your habits. Let's go back and let's listen to the rest of the guys. Give me a moment here. I had problem with the internet teacher. Hello, Miss. Yes, I noticed. Don't worry. I I realized that the internet is kicking you out. But Thanks. is it is it better now? Is it okay now? Are you in the computer, Veronica? Yes, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Maybe you can try. Um, Maybe we can try tomorrow with your cell phone. If your internet is uh, giving you some problems, you can try with the cell phone. Sometimes uh, the internet is more stable, but but I can listen to you very well now. <laughs> okay, so that, thank you. That's fine. All right. Thank you guys for coming back. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Actually, I did. It was really interesting to listen to uh, part of the of the questions you have selected, and there is one specific question that I think it's interesting, that is talking about your bad habits. So, guys, uh, what did your classmates tell you? What are they bad habits? So, remember, bad habit not necessarily is a vice. 
So we are not talking about something really bad, but we're talking about something that you consider is bad and you need to change it. So what's your bad habit or what are your classmates' bad habits? You care. Yes. I'll begin. Oh, yes, 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 Enrica, tell us. My, my bad habit is, is to go too late to the, to the bed. It's so bad to my health. I'm I'm sleep to two a.m. for example, and I wake up uh, five and a past. Oh, a past. So you don't sleep that much. Yeah, yes. no, Why I... do you go? Why do you go to bed late? Um, doing anything. Uh. Watching, watching the cell phone, watching TikTok, for example. Every day. Facebook, uh, every day, and. Okay. <laughs> I got that, problem, okay. I got problem to, to sleep. Very much problem. So you have insomnia. Yes. Yes. Mm, insomnia. Okay, I see. Do you make TikToks? Not much, not much. <laughs> about, <laughs> okay. about three videos. About I mean, five, five because videos. if you have problems uh, sleeping, go uh, falling asleep, um, and you go to bed at two, so you have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. You have six hours. You can, you know, become a, a TikToker <laughs> and take advantage of the time and make money. <laughs> Okay, so, but okay, so going to bed late. Guys, what about the rest of you? So what is uh, your bad habit? Something that you want to share, to share with the rest? Well, hello. Yes. I have bad habits. What's your bad habit? Uh, I competitive and perfection is bad. Why? To Why is bad? What, to what extent? <laughs> How competitive are you? I push it me myself. I push pressure on myself. So I uh, stress. So you are demanding with yourself. Yeah, you are I very am demanding. demanding. Push, yes. Demanding so much. Mm, oh, okay. Okay, so so you're demanding. I'm demanding, and so that is a stress. Uh, that is a stress. Yeah, it's stressful. Oh, okay. And you have, uh, I don't know how you say, ansiedad. Anxiety. Anxiety, yes. Okay. So you develop anxiety. That, oh okay so yeah so if that is like the point that would be kind of a, a bad habit i mean you don't affect anybody <laughs> uh -huh, but but it's part of your of your mental health i think probably i'm the opposite <laughs> i guess <laughs> now that you mentioned that you're a little demanding so i i, I am like or i am super focused you know, or I'm super demanding with myself, or I can be the opposite. So I'm just like carefree. So I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> so I think it depends on my mood. <laughs> okay, guys, what about the rest of you? So carefree is that you don't care that much. So carefree. What about the rest of you guys? What's your bad habit? Anybody else wants to tell us? In my case, I get up late. But uh, when you say late, what time are we talking about? 8 a.m. maybe. Every day? Yes. Uh, are you working or are you studying? No, I'm on vacation. Next week, next week I will start. Oh, okay. No, miss, enjoy it. <laughs> so enjoy it while you can, because uh, we really envy you, I guess. 
So like waking up at eight, that's amazing. <laughs> so that sounds really cool. Okay, guys, uh, let me just present my screen here. Um, I was listening to most of your groups and uh, I just noticed that sometimes when we are um, using regular verbs, we don't make the change, you know, to simple past. In general, amazing job with simple, uh, with present tenses, future, that was amazing. In simple past, that was beautiful. Um, but the, the thing is that with regular verbs, I missed to listen to the ED change. So let's practice just pronunciation with these verbs. Here we have regular verbs. Give me one second. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. The coffee is killing me. So, um, with regular verbs, it is very common that we have, for example, one verb here, and we are going to make it either the t, the the or the it sound, we need to include it. So repeat please with me. Accept, accepted. Accept, accept, accepted. 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 Okay. Accepted. Achieve, achieved. Achieved, achieved. achieved. Add, added. Add, added. Admire, admired. Admire, admire, admire. Okay. Admit, admitted. Admit, admitted. Mm -hmm. Adopt, adopted. Adopt, adopted. 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 Advise, advised. Advised, advised. Advised. Okay, okay. Agree, agreed. Agree. 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 Allow. Allowed. Allow. Allowed. Allowed. Okay, nice. Exactly. Announce. Announced. 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 I'm not listening to the T. <laughs> Announced. 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 I need a T. I need it at the end. Announced. 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 Okay, okay, let's do this. Announced. Solamente es el sonidito de la T. So. Announced. 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 Yes. Um, Peter. Yes. Can you share us this presentation? Please say what's up, girl. Please, there you. Um, mm, yes, sure. Remind me, please, because I'm very forgetful. So when we finish the class, remind me and, and I will share this with you. No problem. All right. Sorry. Okay, so here we have like the most common ones. Let's go with more. Just uh, let's practice this sound. Es como una T, light. Una T suavecita. Es una suavecita. Lo más fácil, guys, es sentir a dónde está la T. Nuestro, nuestra, eh, nuestra boca, los labios and everything funcionan para ayudarnos a dar o a decir o articular sonidos diferentes. En español no tenemos una T sola. Todo va como tomate, eh, to, toma, right? So, son sílabas, pero en inglés no. Va la T solita. So, el, la T, normalmente, la lengua toca la, la parte de arriba de los dientes. So, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, eh, here, confess, voy a tener que obligar la lengua, voy a subir un poquito la lengua to, a que toque el diente. Y eso es todo. Confess. La lengua sube. Confess. Confessed. 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 Y ahí sale el sonido, sin esfuerzo. Confessed. 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 Yeah, well, nice. No sé quién lo dijo, pero escuché una confessed perfecta. You know, that was nice. All right, so let's go here. Let's continue with this one. Clean, cleaned. Clean, cleaned. Clean, cleaned. 
All right. Collect, collected. Compare, compared. Compared. Complain, complaint. Complain, complain. Sorry, uh, it's the sound of the complaint. So complained. Complained. It's complained. 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 Confess, confessed. Confess, confessed. Me faltó la C. Confessed. 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 Okay. Uh, Confessed. So, Veronica, confessed? Confessed. Confessed. Ah, es la misma, confess. Confessed. Y agrégueme ahí la T. Confessed. Confessed. Normal, no, no confess. Puedo. No me sale. Confessed, normal, confessed. 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 La T. Confess. 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 Sofía, nice, beautiful. Sofía. Confessed. Very Confessed. nice. Yes, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's continue with these ones. Construct, constructed. Construct, constructed. Control, controlled. Control, control, control. control. Uh, copy, copied. Copy, copy, copied. Copy, copied. Count, counted. Count. 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 Create. Creative. Create. Cry. Cried. Cry. Cried. Cried. Beautiful. There we go. Exactly. So regular verbs are easy, but it's a little hard because we have to push some sounds, right? So just remember, siempre vamos a agregar el E sound at the end. Okay, guys, I got just one last exercise before we go. So here I have uh, three questions for you. How has El Salvador changed in the past decade, right? So this topic is from unit number four that we are talking about a contrast, a tense contrast. The second question says, what will change in the future, right? And the next one says, what do you do in your free time? Guys, we are going to do a little bit of fluency exercise. So let's do this. I'm going to give you right now a like, no time. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna give you any time, but we are going to be selecting some victims, okay? And I'm going to give you one minute to talk about any topic from the three questions you have here. You can select any of them, but you have only one minute to talk about mm -hmm. it. So this is called, this is a non-stop activity. So that means non-stop. Um, you need to continue talking, all right? So it doesn't matter if you have no idea what to say, invent it, create it, all right? Start talking about experiences, what you have heard, anything, but you have to keep on talking. So this is the only way to develop fluency and to develop vocabulary. Guys, if you, know, if you don't know how to say one word in English, uh, say it in Spanish, but continue in English, right? So don't stop. Yes, you got to continue. Uh, Sofia, I see your hand up. I don't know if it is a mistake or you want to be first. No, teacher, I want to select the victim. Nah. <laughs> oh, come on, why? <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I, I think that's fine. Either way, that was going to be like some victims today. So um, would you give me one number or do you have the person? Or would, or would you give me a name? The person. Okay, Because go for it. I think. Es que le tengo envidia a esa persona porque habla habla bastante. Yo I'm no jealous, sé. so I envy this person. I don't know. 
Don't be competitive, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this is good. This is kind of a good competition. Okay, so who is the person, Sofia? Uh, Irving. Oh. Irving is the person. Okay, okay, so Irvin, do you have here a fan? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's no, go for no, this. No, you don't feel anti fan. <laughs> Irvin, you her crush. <laughs> no, a fan. No, I mean, in, in a good sense, in a good sense, because Sophia mentioned that that you speak nicely. So I think that is in a really good way. So this is like one topic, right? Uh, select one of the questions here. I am going to take the time, one minute, non-stop. You cannot stop. If you okay. if you run out of ideas, you can work like, let me think, let me see. I don't remember, give me one moment, but continue, right? So use other words, but continue. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Amazing. It'll be one minute and one, two, three, go. Okay. Uh, what do you do in your free time? Something that I like to do in my free time is um, spending time reading uh, books, uh, listening to music. Uh, you might think, uh, what kind of music do I like to listen to? Um, I like to listen to uh, all the music. You know, I don't like music in other place because... I don't like bad quality music, to be honest. Um, then I spend time watching some videos um, on YouTube, um, English videos. Um, there are many professors right there, and it is very helpful because you're gonna get fluent, you're gonna have more intuition, a better pronunciation, and you have a better comprehension of what people are talking about. So that's that is very important because, um, for example, in my career, it is necessary to understand and learn how to speak English, to be, like uh, Sophia said, more Time summer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Good job. That was super good. I heard, like, part of your experiences, I heard your point of view about the use of English. I don't know if that was for real. <laughs> Okay, then you watch YouTube videos. Um, but that was nice, very good vocabulary, very nice fluency as well. Irvin, the next person is in your hands. So who is next? And this okay, is going to be um, the last person. I have nothing against this person to to, <laughs> to be honest. This is that only is not random. a special reason. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's okay. Just a random person. Okay, let me check. I'm, I'm watching names <laughs> now. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, Maria. Uh, I got a couple of Marys, Maria Ivana or Ana Maria. All right. Uh, let's see, Maria Ivana. Oh, Maria Ivana, you're the lucky one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you got only one minute, Maria. You select the question that you think it's interesting, and you there you go. Ready? Um, number one. Go for it. Uh, in El Salvador, uh, had its own uh, currency. There was more uh, capacity to uh, pay, and the basic basic bus bus was cheaper, and uh, and the basic Um, uh, uh, one now. <laughs> oh, continue, please. Miss. You have fifteen seconds. No sé qué más decir. Invented. Um. And time is over. <laughs> okay, so say by the veil. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right. Thank you, guys. Um, actually, that is a very nice exercise because it pushes us, you know, and we are like, oh, my God, what can I say? So we need to get a more 
uh, more words, more expressions, right? Uh, to speak more. Very nice job. Thank you so much, uh, Ivania. Thank you so much, Irving, for that. Guys, a very nice participation today. It was so interesting to listen to um, your opinions here. Um, actually, we are finishing tomorrow, uh, week number three. Just a little reminder, guys, uh, for this Friday, les pido que me ayuden con la plataforma, right? Completando de ser posible la número cuatro. Y si alguien puede avanzar hasta la número cinco y terminarla, that would be beautiful. Thanks everybody for your attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye oh, everybody. Good night, teacher. Bye.